Hi everyone! So whenever it's feasible, I try to buy my timber rough sawn and in bulk to save the cost. This piece of timber is roughly 2.8 meters long. And in this video, I'm going to show you how I dress the timber and process it to more manageable sizes for model making. I don't have the facility to process a piece of timber this long. Plus, I like to preserve the length of the timber as long as possible so that I'm prepared for any future projects. So, for this video, I'm just going to cut off a meter of material in the main stock. Okay, now we have our roughly 1 meter piece of timber and the idea now is to plane both faces so that they are completely parallel with each other and join both edges so that they are 90 degrees to the faces. After that, we can then confidently measure and cut out the components that we need for our models. Now, for my planer or thicknesser, um, this width of the board is a little bit too big so I'm just going to roughly cut the width of the timber down on my table saw. So this is my very rudimentary planer sled. We're going to put the piece of timber on it. Here's the edge. And now we're going to see if there's any warp in it. And just a little bit, I can it's raising on this corner. So we're just gonna put a few shins. Yep. And once it's, it's solid, we're gonna start planing this face. So now we have one face that's perfectly flat. We're gonna flip it over, we're gonna take the sled away, referencing this edge, the planer or thicknesser if you live in Australia, is going to give us a parallel flat face on the other side as well. So now we have two parallel faces and we're going to join the edge to get a 90 degrees edge to the face. Now, I've built this rudimentary jointing sled and what it's going to do is help me use the table saw to get a straight line and then I'm going to flip it over, remove the sled just like we did with the planar thicknesser. I'm going to reference off the newly straight edge of my fence and I will be able to get a parallel edge on the opposite edge. And now, we have a perfectly square piece of timber. Now, I have a block for my solid massing models and some thin veneer as walls for my detailed models. With a resaw guide fitted on my fence, I also use my band soft veneer sometimes, especially when I want greater control. Well, I hope you found that process interesting. As usual, please leave a comment below if you have any questions or suggestions. Subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next video.